Hello, welcome to Wilson's Barbecue. In this video, I'm gonna cook a steak using an old GoPro chest harness that I found, uh, which has an iPhone adapter. So I thought I'd do some point of view uh, cooks. Um, hopefully you enjoy them. Let me know if you do, let me know if you don't. Uh, so yeah, here it is. Here's me cooking my dinner on a Thursday night. Right, so we are gonna try this point of view camera. I'm gonna cook a steak. So I've got a real nice uh, cowboy steak from the Bearded Bry. Um, I went up and picked some briskets up off them uh, last week and they sorted me out with a few steaks, one of them being this cowboy ribeye, cowboy style ribeye. Um, I think it's olive fed. Um, yeah, olive fed, so nice amount of marbling. Uh, should have a good flavor on it. So I'm gonna make, make a steak on the PK, um, do some vegetables with it. And basically just gonna cook some dinner uh, and thought we may as well show you it. So I'm just gonna put some black pepper on, fairly heavy, and just some kosher salt. Uh, the reason why I'm using kosher salt is just because I have plenty of it. Um, I'll use some mold and uh, sea salt just to finish it, but I've got loads of kosher salt from uh, cooking loads of low and slow briskets and stuff like that. So fairly heavy with the black pepper and the salt. And just let that sit out for a bit. Let that hang out. So hopefully the sound um, for this is gonna be okay. I'm just using my iPhone, so uh, not using a mic like I normally would. So hopefully it'll be okay. So that's gonna sit and just hang out there for a bit. Uh, so I've got my PK, just got some tumbleweeds uh, there. Just got some big K. That was really difficult to do with this harness on. So we've got some big K. I'll just let that go for a bit. So while the PK heats up, I'm going to, got some baby new potatoes. I'm just gonna boil those. Salt water. Gonna cook those, and I've got some tender stem broccoli, uh, which I'm gonna do on the PK. Got the steak, just hanging out. Uh, we'll let the PK get up to temperature. Right, so the PK has been on for about maybe five, maybe ten minutes, um, and we're not looking for completely raw in because um, we're gonna reverse sear it. So I don't mind if it needs to come up to temp for a little bit. Um, I don't want it raging hot. That'd be fine. Let that burn away. Let's open the vent up under the PK and for a little bit of smoke. This is too big. Close that down, open this up. So we've got this open, this open under here. Air can come through, through coals, smoke, drag it across and over the meat. I'll put the meat on this side. So if let that come up to temperature for a little bit. All right, so the PK is up to some kind of temperature. Got plenty of smoke going, so that'll do. and smoky so just set that there and uh, let it smoke away uh, I was gonna do a chimichurri but uh, I didn't have any fresh parsley but I did find some uh, frozen chopped parsley in the freezer so I'm just gonna use that for potatoes uh, I also didn't have any red wine vinegar so I'm not gonna do a chimichurri so pretty simple just see how that steaks getting on nice 
it's nice and smoky. Colour's getting there a little bit. Yeah, we should keep it going. I'm also not really fussed about whatever temperature is going on. Um, I just know that I want to get this is really smoky before it cooks inside, so uh, internally. So if it's at a low smoking temperature, like 150, 160, uh, up to 200 for quite a while before this gets up to temperature, I'm happy with that because it's going to build more flavour in that time um, before it actually gets to the temperature I want to eat it at. So the slower it can get there, the better. Um, take it off at about 125, 130, sear it up to about 140, maybe let it rest. We'll see how we go. So these are pretty much done now. Um, they're a little bit further off where I'd want to eat them, but I'm going to turn off the heat and just uh, stick a lid on um, and they'll just continue to carry over uh, in the hot water and they should be pretty much bang on by the time I eat them. Um, so we're going to go check on the on the steak. Uh, we need a beer first. Got the mill scale koozie. Only 10 minutes in, but it's good to just check where we're at. Uh, these PKs recover pretty quickly, uh, heat temperature wise, so I'm not worried about losing too much heat. Um, as I say, I want to kind of want to cook it slow. 77. These Thermopen ones are pretty good as well, uh, really quick. So, yeah, still going. Uh, let that carry on for a bit longer. Right, I'm ready to eat, so um, this probably isn't where I wanted it to be temperature wise, but um, I'm ready to sear it. So where are we at? 100, 123. Oh, we're, we're getting there, we're getting there. So we're just gonna open this up now. Um, that's gonna be hot. Oh, rested on the bone, that's fine. So we'll take that wood away because we don't really need that now. Um, and let's get these coals all over to one side. Uh, and I really wanna, really wanna get the temperature roaring on this because I'm gonna sear it pretty hot and fast. Um, so we'll leave this open, um, we'll shut this down. And that's just get, getting a little bit more smoke there so I'm not mad about that. Um, leave this open. These coals are going to come up to a blazing hot temperature, go all white, uh, and then we'll sear this. And hopefully, if we set this far enough to the side, it shouldn't raise up in temperature anymore. Um, so we'll leave this for, for 10 minutes or so, uh, let it get blazing hot, and then we'll sear off the steak. And we need to do the uh, broccoli as well. Um, so yeah, see you in 10 minutes. Right, so the, the steak outside should pretty much be uh, sorry, the coals outside should pretty much be ready to go. So uh, we'll get that seared off. Um, first, we'll just put a bit of oil on our broccoli. And we'll take those out. Uh, we'll sear the steak off, let that rest. While that's resting, we will get the broccoli going. It's not going to take too much, too long to, uh, to cook these. So yeah, these are pretty, nice. coals are pretty much ready, ready to go. So just set those to the side, get this going. I'm not interested in grill marks or anything like that. Just want a good sear. That smells delicious. We're gonna get some grill marks, but unintentionally. I like the just priles, just keep flipping method. Not about that kind of cook on one side for, you know, the one flip is key to a good steak. I like to flip it regularly. Uh, I think you just get a much even, much more even cook. Just trying to get away from the smoke. It's following me, obviously. Got a good sear on it. Stick that there, uh, let that chill out a bit, and then we'll just get these broccolinis on. And these aren't going to take very long at all, just to char them up. Uh, and then I can finish them uh, kind of 
away from the heat. So I just want to get a char on them for now. Cook those stems first off. Take this glove off. We'll see how that steak's doing internally, uh, temperature wise, um, once I've finished off with these. Uh, might put it back over the coals just to kind of bring it up to where I want it. All right, so these are got all the color that I want, so I'll just put them away from the put them away from the heat uh, with the stems facing towards the charcoal. And where are we at with this steak? 116, 117. Give it a little bit more. Five. Okay, we're done. Right, so these can just keep warm uh, over here. I think we are done with the steak. I'll take this inside to rest. leave that to rest it smells delicious uh, and we'll deal with the sides so as I say I just want a little bit of color on these uh, I like them quite crunchy uh, and they'll cook through pretty quickly so I'm gonna call those done I shut down the PK and we use all that charcoal another time. Right, so. It's looking good. It's looking a lot darker on camera than it does in real life. It's got more of a red color. Um, that's gonna hang out there, rest for a bit. Uh, got our potatoes, which is still pretty warm. Uh, these will be perfect now, I think. Get those in there. Bit of that frozen parsley, because I didn't have fresh. A bit of salt. And a bit of butter. Leave those, uh, leave those to the side for a bit. All right, so I'm gonna get a glove on. I always put, uh, the, a lot of people ask about these gloves. They're just uh, cotton gloves from Amazon. Uh, nothing special, they're not heat proof or anything, but it just means that you can kind of pick meats up out of the smoker or out, off the barbecue um, nice and easily, You're not gonna get burnt, so. Cool, so let's cut this off the bone first. Good. It's looking nice. Yeah, that's perfect. You see that? Hopefully. Right, so we got some, get some mold and sea salt um, just to finish it. And we got our broccoli and we've got our potatoes.
all right. I think we'll have better lighting uh, outside. Hopefully. There we go. Yeah, it looks a little bit, a bit more cooked um, on camera than it does in real life, but it's looking pretty medium in most places. Maybe a little bit medium rare in some. Um, there we go, get some light on it. It's looking good. Right, let's eat it. Let's go for this bit of spinellus. Mm. Wow, that is outrageous. So juicy. Really good smoke flavor from that offset cooking, that indi indirect cooking. Um, and a nice sear on the outside. That salt and pepper isn't overpowering. Mm. That's perfect, good. I've never had olive, olive fed beef before uh, just tastes like really good quality beef um got bone to gnaw on got some veggies and potatoes yeah so that's my dinner for this evening i hope you enjoyed the first point of view video uh, if you like it let me know drop a comment below say whether you liked it what i could do better if you want to see more of these types of videos um and yeah thank you very much for watching